Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video on the Cars 3 birthday party decor that I made and show you how I made some of the stuff. So first we're going to start off with this little cup that is a party favor. First I used, I cut with my Cricut, um, I designed some cars like party favors that says thanks for racing on by and basically I'm going to glue them together. You can use tacky glue or hot glue gun. I'm personally using a hot glue gun because it will be faster for me because the glue dries faster. So I'm just gluing all those pieces together. Now what I first did was I made, these weren't really party favors but I made one for my son and then I was going to have some sort of game where I chose a winner and the winner would see, receive the same cup and it has a bunch of goodies that our normal party favors don't have. So that's what I'm doing here. You can do this as normal party favors. I got the, all these items pretty much at Party City. So I'm just gluing these pieces on to the stickers. You can use the ones that say thanks for racing on by or you can do what I did where I did one for the birthday boy and one for the winner that is going to receive this. So basically what I got was these cups that I got at Party City. You can get them at Walmart I think too. And I'm basically going to fill them up with a bunch of goodies and yeah, so who doesn't want goodies? So basically I just got a bunch of random stuff. I got candy. I got a little car, like a Lightning McQueen car. I got just little goodies from Party City. So at first I'm gonna stuff it with this little like stuffing. I got a puzzle from Party City as well, so that's what I put in there. Then I put the stuffing in and I put each prize that I was gonna give away, which is like this little musical horn, the sucker, the Lightning McQueen car, and it was a keychain, and a few candies. So basically I'm just gonna put all that in there and just fit it in different places until it looks right to me. So now I'm gonna take these bags. These are like huge party favor bags, they're clear bags. I'm putting this in there just so it keeps everything together, it doesn't fall apart. I did this more for convenience for me. You don't have to do this. I'm using ribbon to tie it to the top. I just twisted it around and then tied a bow. And that's pretty much all that there is for this project. I'm curled the ribbon with some scissors and yeah this can be a party favor or you can do what like i said do a winner and birthday boy now we are going to move on to the actual party favors i made so this is what i did i went and got these bags from party city they're just super simple bags they have a bunch of different themed ones and because it was cars i just added party favors i got stickers oreos candy tattoo i got a hot wheels car that comes with a sticker inside the car and a glow stick now the hot wheels car i use this because they were only a dollar rather than spending five dollars each on each individual actual car themed car so i just got hot wheels instead so now you are going to basically get some string and you're gonna get a hole puncher and you are going to punch holes in all the little circles that you made that say thanks for racing on by and basically that's what I'm gonna do to all of them so I can put them on each individual party favor back. Now I'm going to get the string and I'm gonna cut the string out for every single one that I made. I made about nine of them, so I'm just cutting about nine pieces of string out. Also, don't forget to hole punch your bag because you're gonna tie this onto your bag because the bags don't already come hole punched. Just hole punch the bag and you'll be good to go. Now just attach each tag onto the string and then add it onto the bag, tie it, and if the string is a little bit too long, which I did make the string really long, you just gotta cut the end pieces and there you go. That's all there is to these party favors. Super simple, super cute. And you personalized it a little bit. Now we are going to move on to these center pieces that have the cake pops in it. This was my most exciting thing. I really loved how these came out. Basically, I got these designs and I designed them on my Cricut design space and I just printed them and then I cut them out with my Cricut and I'm just organizing them all right here. I made four different center pieces so I can put all along the tables and you're going to need some bamboo sticks. 
you're gonna need the ones that have a pointy end because we're gonna be sticking them in foam so they stick up. So I'm basically just gluing them onto the back of each paper. This is cardstock paper, so I didn't use regular printer paper. I did use cardstock paper, so it's a bit more stiffer than regular paper. And you just hot glue each stick on to the back of each one. You can totally personalize these. I like the Cricut Design Space because I can personalize everything and that's what I did. Just putting pieces together and designing them. If you'd like me to do a video on that, just leave it in the comments below and I will. So this is what I used for the center pieces. I had four of these little tin cans. I got them from Walmart. I think they're like 99 cents each where the party favor section is. And now we're gonna need foam. So I have this big bulk of foam and I basically just use this giant knife and cut it to what I needed it to be. I wasn't sure how to cut foam, so this is how I cut foam. Basically, you're gonna cut four pieces out or for however many center pieces you need. I did add some black rocks that I got from the Dollar Tree. I just added the rocks to the bottom of it just to make it heavier so it's not just like flopping around. And then you're gonna add this stuffing. You can get this stuffing like where you buy wrapping paper and you're just gonna stuff it to cover up the foam so you can stick your centerpiece sticks in. Now I'm going to stick all the sticks in. I push them all the way down into the foam. And you're basically gonna do that to all the centerpieces. And this is how they came out. I really, really love them. My goal was to make these centerpieces and also add cake pops in them because my mom makes cake pops every year. So yeah, these are some projects that I had for party favors. My mom made these cake pops and she also designed this little racetrack thing. It was really cute. And I also purchased these cookies from Tea and Cookies that you can find on Facebook.com. She makes really great cookies and my son absolutely loved them. So this was pretty much the whole party. And I really loved how it came out. I love to decorate for both my children's parties. It's one of the funnest things that I get to do for them. And everything came out really good. I really did love it. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time. Bye.